Hello, so we've been thinking about how Thomas had doubts and questions about whether Jesus really came back to life. And we want to have an opportunity now through a simple craft activity to think about what our doubts are about God and how we can find some answers for them. So for this you'll need uh, just a piece of paper, a pencil or pen and some scissors. So the first thing you want to do is fold your piece of paper in half nice and simply and then with the fold at one side where your little finger is I want you to put your hand onto the paper with it folded and draw round your hand to make a handprint so your paper will end up looking a little bit like this now you might want to now just draw some lines down where your fingers go so it doesn't look quite so strange. So there you go, can you see I've got my fingers there? And then you're going to cut round that while it's folded. I've got one here that I've already cut out so that you've got two sides and you can do the fingers on the back as well. Now on the front of these hands, and you might notice they look a little bit like hands that are praying, we're going to write down some of the things that we doubt, some of the things that we uh, are worried about or that we've got questions about that we would like to ask Jesus if, like Thomas, we weren't quite sure about them. You know, Thomas had the chance to ask Jesus in person and we do have that opportunity too. We can do that by praying to him. So on the outside of our prayer hands, we're going to write down maybe a question that you have. So I'm going to put, um, did Jesus really die? That's one question. You might have different questions. It doesn't matter what your questions are. It might be, how did God make the world? You can come up with as many questions as you like. Just write them on there. If you want to get a grown up to help you write, or you can just draw some little pictures to uh, help you to remember what your questions are, that's fine. You can fill the back as well. And then on the inside, we're going to open out the hands and I want you to get your pencil again and draw some little circles in the middle. Now, these little circles are to show us and remind us of when Thomas was shown Jesus's hands. And do you remember Jesus said to Thomas, these are the holes in my hands that were made when the nails held me on the cross. So inside is going to be, if you like, the ways that we can find answers to our questions. If you like, it's the evidence or the proof that helps solve the questions and doubts that we have. So one of the ways I think I find answers to my questions is by reading the Bible. So I'm going to put reading Bible on there. Another way I get answers to questions is by chatting to my friends who also know Jesus and love him. So I'm going to put chatting to friends. And you can start to fill up the inside with all the ways that we can find the answers to our questions and doubts. Now you might want to have a chat with other people in your family about the other ways that we can find answers to our questions. It might be um, that by praying we can find answers to our questions. It might be by listening to how people's lives have been changed by God and actually by seeing how God changes your own life that you realise that he can start to provide you with answers to your questions and doubts. In fact, right at the end of the chapter that we've been looking at today, John's um, Gospel, chapter 20, where uh, John tells us what happened to Thomas, John writes that Jesus did so many things that he hasn't written them all down, but the ones he has written down are the ones that we need to have read so that we have enough evidence to be able to believe in Jesus. So the Bible is really, really important to help us to understand our questions. So it doesn't matter what your questions are as long as you ask them and you can ask God through prayer, you can ask your parents, you can ask your friends, you can ask your Sunday school teachers, your teachers at school. As long as you ask your questions, 
then you can start to find the answers. So have fun uh, filling in your little prayer hands. And uh, if you've got questions, I'd love to, to hear them. If you want to ask me, that's fine. You can email them to me, Teresa at stjohnshartford.org. And um, I look forward to seeing if I can give you some answers to those.